This video is brought to you by MSI Australia. Make sure to check the link below in the description to know more about the MSI Spatium product line. Are you constantly moving your games to an external drive so you can play the next game? And you finally made the decision to get the SSD expansion to stop punishing yourself moving stuff around between drives? Well, look no further. In this video, I will cover the latest MSI Spatium M480 Play, which meets all the requirements for a PS5 SSD extended storage. The MSI M40 Play is a NVMe M.E PCI4 SSD allowing you to increase your storage space up to 4TB and comes with a handy 5 year warranty. The SSD comes with a pre-built heatsink, so it's pretty much plug and play unless you are like me and take half an hour to figure out how to remove the PS5 cover to begin with and also don't do it like me and take the cover opposite to the PS5 logo that's where the SSD expansion slot is located I guess I should have read the instructions first so just simply remove the single screw of the slot cover remove the screw holding the spacer and put into the position the MSI M40 play fits into the 80 position Slot the MSI M40 Play with the heatsink facing up securely with the screw. Place the slot cover back and back the PS5 cover. Now it's time to power up your PS5 console. First, you will be prompted to format the M480 Play SSD. Once completed, you are all set. Now, how does the SSD perform against the SSD that comes with your PS5? Well, it's super fast and I'll show you a few games I have tested so far. First up, Days Gone, a true PlayStation exclusive essential. I have speeded up the video to 4x as there was a lot of black screen. And as you can see there, the spatial load is slightly faster than the standard PS5 SSD. Look how smooth it runs at 60 FPS. Colonel, sir, reporting in. Uh... Captain Corey. One more game, Ghost of Tsushima. Again, a masterpiece of a game. You can see that the performance of the spatial loading pretty close to the PS5 um, and again looking super smooth. Thanks for watching this video. I'll be doing a few more comparisons and my experience with the SSD in the next coming weeks, so please make sure to check that out.